Good morning, y'all. It's Miss Lippy. I said I wasn't going to do garden updates till the weekend. Well, today is Tuesday, and y'all, I found an amazing find, okay? Strictly by accident, social media, and I was like, I got to share this with y'all. I wasn't going to do potatoes. You know, we're just now building the boxes. Y'all, there was a broke pallet that had bags of Yukon, Kennebec, uh, the Northern's Red, Russets. The pallet had broke. It was in the middle of the parking lot. A dollar a bag. Some are squished. But I was able to get 20 pounds for $4. And there may be five potatoes in there that's like squished. So I was like, okay, self, and I stayed with three types, a Yukon, a Russet, and the Nordlin. That's all I did, which is a red potato. So if you can see, I have one, two, and three beds. Well, these beds just had my normal soil that I had showed y'all in the previous video, but I needed it to be loose. I did not want to amend with all my parallel. So I went out in the yard, and I hope this wind, y'all can hear me over the wind. And if y'all can see it, I'll zoom the camera in. This is sand. The previous owners at one time had a pool, above ground pool, and they had laid some plastic. Well, under that is an abundance of sand, okay? So what I did is I just got wheelbarrows full and I filled these beds with sand and I'm just gonna go in right now and I'm gonna start mixing this with my hands and a shovel. That's all I'm gonna do at this point. Okay, I've got the first blending done. Now at that third bed, we haven't added any soil. So I'm going to try to find a piece of a board or something to block that in so my soil, we're supposed to have rain tomorrow, and so I don't want it to wash out. So i got to find a board down there so it'll hold the soil till we can get another load and finish those beds. But this is just the way Lippy does it. Does it make it right? It doesn't make it wrong, but it works for me. Um, if you're looking for the science around all of the, you know, your nitrogen, your potash, your phosphorus, and if I need to be politically correct, it's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash, which is no more than potassium. That's about as far as you're going to get from Libby, okay? I garden the way I've always gardened. Only this wasn't available years ago. It was just triple 13. Um, your old timey stuff, guys. I can't even think off the top of my head. I'm so excited I got my potatoes. I just did not believe this was going to happen. That's, that's God's work right there. So anyway, I've got bags and bags of this stuff from 2019. And y'all know we lost a couple of gardens, so I didn't use it. But anyway, up here it says 463, meaning 4 is nitrogen, 6% is your uh, phosphorus, and 3 is your potash, which is potassium. Now, in my opinion, my opinion only, I'm not trying to grow a house plant. In other words, I'm not trying to grow an abundance of leaves. I'm trying to get a root. Potatoes is a root crop, okay? So I'm trying to get them some good, strong feet. But I also know that they need some loose soil. Okay, that's just, I guess, basic information, if you will. So you will not see me put a lot of nitrogen into my potato beds. What you're gonna see me do is stick with more phosphorus and potassium, lower on the potassium till the last four weeks, about four weeks that I'm gonna be 
actually feeding before they start going yellow, limp, and ready to harvest. That's when I'm gonna come in with a high potassium. Okay, but I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging. I told you I was gonna do a full garden tour. So, hey, if I have days like this in the midweek where I run across something, I'm gonna turn the camera on and show you. So, all I'm gonna do is generous amounts, okay? Of this, I know a lot of people like to use Epsom salt. I think I said this the other day. You won't see Lippy use much Epsom salt in her garden. Just my preference. Uh, and then I am going to come in with some triple 13 just to get it started. Now, I am out of my garden tone. I have hunted. Buddy thinks there's some in the shed, but I'm not going to dig. If I had garden tone, I would use it instead of the triple 13. It's a great balancer, y'all, because I did not soil test. I don't have time to. I don't have time to amend. I got potatoes from an hour ago and I want to get them planted, you know, and we just see where it goes. But if you have garden tone and you're not sure about what your pH is, what your nutrients is, what are you lacking in, what are you high more acidic in, then by all means test. I've got a tester, but I'm not even going to test. But if you have garden tone, it's almost like a a bonus, it will balance you. Within reason, it'll balance you out. I love garden tone, but like I say, I don't know where it's at. So, this is what we're gonna use, which is the Dr. Earth Homegrown Organic. Oh, let me see if I can hold it up. There you go. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm fixing a dump, dump, dump. Dump, dump, dump. And I'm gonna side dress with some triple 13, and then I'll bring you back and we'll do the rows of how Lippy does it. thought I'd share this with y'all. A dear friend of mine, Mr. Keith and his wife, Miss Wanda, a couple of years ago, gifted us this. It's a squirrel. But look what it does, y'all. It holds my markers. I think it's just adorable. Okay, in, the, in this bed here, we have our russet our Red Norland, and our Yukon Gold. Now I'm gonna go in 
with a little bit of light straw on top and that's just to keep moisture but not heavy it's clouding up we're not supposed to have any rain till tomorrow it's supposed to be some storms pretty heavy storms but i got that done i uh, hope you i hope i made sense to you uh, like i said i'm a very simple gardener um buddy and i do fairly well I'm someone who doesn't like change. That's obvious, because y'all have seen my last three homes and they all have the same color paint, the same everything. I just don't do change. But if I continuously fail at something, um, then I owe myself to get knowledge and find where my failure is. You're gonna have sporadic failure, no matter how experienced you are. Um, so I'm bending the air to the new gardeners. Okay, just because you may fail in something doesn't mean you don't try again. You know, if you're someone like me that really doesn't research, uh, grew up gardening, kind of an old school, and you're constantly making the same mistake, you owe it to yourself to educate, find out where the mistake is, correct it, and, uh, you know, roll with it. And that's the way Lippy gardens. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you you need 4% of this for six weeks and you need 8% and then you need to back off of this. I'm just going to show you what I do. Um, a lot of my comments said that they work better on visual. Um, a lot of my comments said that I explained in a way that they understood. So, you know, yay Lippy. Um, I'm taking a big leap doing this. You know, I may have had a channel for a couple of years, but I've not really showed how I garden, what I use, why I use it. But this year in 2022, I'm gonna do just that. And some may disagree, but hey, if my way works for me and your way works for you, then we're both winners. So, whew, I think I need a little bit of water. We got a ball game tonight and Papa and I are ready. We're ready for the ball game. So there you have it. Uh, see you this weekend. We'll do an update garden tour. Um, I think we're gonna talk about herbs this weekend only because they've been in the ground over two weeks. I need to feed them. So we'll go towards herbs, you know, this coming weekend. And then see what else we get into because of course we're building beds, right? No, I will not be. I won't be doing herbs. No, not this weekend. I will have to do herbs on Thursday. Now, I can't tell you why it's a surprise. So, you won't see a video this weekend at all. And you'll find out why. So, Thursday in two days, we're going to talk about herbs and what I'm going to do for them because we're getting an AC and heat unit put in Thursday. So I'm going to be outside staying cool, right? So we'll dive into herbs. But until next time, as always, God bless.